Hi friends! This is Dainty Tank. Thank you for joining me. This is Baked Magic Part 2. So before we got to play along as Lana and also we met Elliot who has uh, a new apprenticeship with Lana in her bakery. Uh, but Lana is also a veteran of the Slime Wars, uh, but friends with Jane Doe. Not kidding. Jane Doe, the Lady Knight. Um, and it seems to be something there. Uh, at least close friendship. Uh, but the Lady Knight would come over every single morning to get a, it a blueberry lavender muffin, which sounds delicious. Oh, blueberry lavender sounds great. Um, and apparently it was for the princess all along. Who knew? The princess really loves it. And apparently there's a whole betrothal ball in which Lana has been asked to produce 500 muffins in two days. So, that's where we left off last time. Let's just load in and go. Here we go. Yep, the whole shop. <laughs> Jane didn't look happy when talking about the princesses of bet uh, betrothal. Uh, betroth betrothment. Betrothment. Lana. Oh. <laughs> I had a feeling anyway. But it wasn't my place to say. Elliot, I think the pumpkin seed muffins will be almost finished by now. Try to ignore it and carry on with running the bakery. I'll go check! <laughs> okay. That evening. We go about the rest of the day, serving customers and baking as per usual. When I close up the bakery, Elliot tells me she has a prior arrangement and is unable to stay. I'm sorry, I can't stay back to help you help clean up today. Don't worry about it, Elliot. Make sure you get home safely, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay! You're so understanding! See you tomorrow, Lana! I lock the door behind her. Sigh. I'm still bothered by the look on Jane's face as she spoke to us this morning. I could tell she was troubled by the princess getting married. I guess that bothered me. The obvious fact that Jane has feelings for the princess. Ugh. I don't know what to do with my own feelings right now. Oh, you have feelings for Jane. The next day. Lana, my arms are getting tired from all this mixing. How do you do this every morning? Hmm. Suppose this would be a good time to teach you how to use magic to mix the, be the batter. Really? Yes. I need a quill. Please wait. <laughs> Sorry, too gay to sit. Maybe she should start carrying a quill and ink around with her. Okay, I'm ready. Let's begin by beating the eggs. Since your initial spark element was fire, Elliot, you should also have a slight connection with both the wind and earth elements. We'll be harnessing the wind element for today's lesson. Okay. First, pinpoint a specific part of the egg to focus your magic. Ooh. Is that me? Oh, wait. Okay. Next, we need to mix the batter in a circular motion. So you will need, want to focus your magic around the bowl. We continue channeling our magic around and around. And that's it. This sounds easy, but I'm... Sure, I'll make mistakes. Do you want to watch me do it again? Yes, please. Okay, but after this, I want to see see you give it a go. Click, click, clack, click. And that's how we do it. Wow, you make that look so easy, Lana. Thank you, Elliot. But flattery won't improve your magic skill. I, I know. Okay. I think I'm ready to give it a try. Good luck. Click, 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 
Klick. Ah! Ik. <laughs> Come down, Elliot. When you panic, you can accidentally channel your spark element. In your case, it would be fire. Uh, uh, okay. Just take a few seconds to calm down. Inhale. Exhale. Shall we try again? One more time. seems to be getting the hang of this. I can see some real potential. Great work, Elliot. Hee <laughs> hee, I could mix all day! Very good. But I think we should stop here for today. What? But I'm on fire right now! No, that was the problem before. Ah! <laughs> you couldn't me like that. Water! I need water! You got too excited. Sorry. We still have a long way to go. So much patience. After some time. Who knows when time, but some. You did pretty well with today's- uh, making today's batch. Ugh, but the amount of times I lit the batter on fire. I'm sorry I wasted so many ingredients. It's quite alright, Elliot. I knew what I was getting myself into when I accepted you as my apprentice. Lana, you're so kind! Oh, here comes our number- Lana! I need your help. Uh, excuse me? The king! He plans to wed the princess off to the first man that can defeat his fighter in the duel at the ball tomorrow night. What? Uh? I, I need to create a potion to turn me into a man! <laughs> no, Jane. What? Please, I'm begging you. It's the only way I'll be able to fight for. I can't possibly allow the princess to marry the first man to defeat the king's chosen fighter. Who knows what sort of barbarian it would be. But there's a chance the winner could be a kind-hearted person. I can't risk it. I can't bear the thought of her marrying a stranger she doesn't even know. Oh. Jane, rather than her marrying an unknown man, isn't it more accurate to say that you can't bear the thought of her marrying someone other than you? Oh, I... I'm just a knight. I'm not even a high-ranking officer. I'm an elf and my body is scarred from the war. I don't have any redeeming qualities. And my biggest setback of all is that I am a woman. What right do I have to stand by the princess's side, unless I change? Ooh! Click. Okay, agree to help, you're against it, or confess your own feelings. Confessing your own feelings at this moment is not going to help. Not one bit. Sorry. So we're not going to confess our own feelings. However, I'm like, I don't want to agree to help, but on the flip side, I feel like that would be a lot of fun to watch the chaos. You're against it? Yeah, but... Yeah, let's help. And you think that by turning into a man and defeating the king's fighter, you will be accepted to stand by her side? Yes. Fine, I will do it. I'll create a potion for you if that is what you think you need in order to win the princess's heart. Thank you, Lana. Is there really a magic potion to change Jane into a man, though? I have never made one before, so I can't guarantee it will even work. We don't know what will happen. Your body might change, but so could your state of mind. I don't even know if it would be a permanent effect or just temporary. I'm willing to take that risk. Alright. Just want to make it clear that I can't- I don't agree with this. I don't see why you need to change yourself to fight for the, for the princess. You could easily hold your own and battle against the other knights. 
You even fought in the war against the slime monsters. I would never be accepted as a woman, Lana. Very well. I'll make the potion tonight, so come by tomorrow morning. Thank you, Lana. You don't know how much this means to me. Aww. Aww. Lana, are you okay? Yes. Let's get back to work, Elliot. We should- we still have an order to prepare for tomorrow night. Hmm. Yeah, sadness. That evening? We are progressing quick. After I sent Elliot home for the day, I sit in the kitchen in silence. The only sound I could hear is the crackling of the fireplace. It's high. Today has been both physically and mentally draining. The bakery seemed busier than usual today. Some of the customers were definitely not locals. Regan, they must be visiting from the neighboring nations. Were they here to celebrate the princess's betrothment? Perhaps they too were planning to fight for the right to marry her. Even after the last customer had left, I waited well past sunset to close the bakery. I think I wanted to keep myself busy so that way I could hold off on making Jane's potion. It's gonna be a long, long day tomorrow. The day of the ball. Surprisingly, I had a really good night's sleep. It's a new day today. But that does not mean the events of yesterday did not happen. It also means I have a very large order of muffins to prepare! Lana! I'm here! I open the door. Good morning, Lana! Good morning, Elliot. Thank you for coming a little earlier than usual to help with today's order. It's my pr pleasure! We have a lot to do today and not enough time to do it. Okay! I don't waste any time with idle chit-chat this morning. Everything I've taught you so far has been leading up to this moment. I'm going to need you to find ingredients for me and help me mix the batter. You're going to work hard and fast. I won't be able to give you much assistance. In fact, I'll actually be timing you this time. I can handle it. Alright, are you ready? What would not yet be? Not yet. Okay, just let me know when you're ready. Are you ready now? Yes! Alright, I'm counting on you. <laughs> Elliot, please hand me the eggs on the bench. Eggs? Yes, Lana. Thank you, Elliot. I need some flour now. Got it? Good work, Elliot. Could you grab me some lavender from the corner? Got it! This is not lavender yet. Uh... Lavender... Lavender? Great! You're doing well, Elliot. Elliot, what's taking you so long to find the ingredients I asked for? Oh, it's so cute! Or am I... I don't know where any anything is. Oh dear. Elliot, I'll work in the back. Can you please go out to the garden and pick some more blueberries? Okay. Muffin making failed! <laughs> Hold on, I want to replay that. Yeah, I want to redo that. Yes! Counting on you. Elliot, please hand me the eggs on the bench. Got it. Got it. Great. You're doing well, Elliot. Blueberries? Perfect. Been really helpful so far, Elliot. Are you ready to mix the batter now? As ready as I'll ever be. Great, remember to focus very carefully. If you concentrate wonders, even just a little bit, you might burn the batter. Won't let you down. I'm sure you won't. Please start by mixing this one. Alright. Click. 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 Ah! And then to the oven it goes! That's much cuter! Yay! Great job, Elliot. 
Not only did you work efficiently, but you were able to use magic to mix the batter! I am so proud of you. Thank you so much, Lana! I-I was only able to do it because I had such an amazing teacher. Flattery will only get you so far, Elliot, because my eyes are set on Jane. For enough to receive a reward? Hmm, perhaps. Would you like these? Really? Um, well... Maybe I'll ask for it at the ball? What? Are you sure? Something I can get for you immediately. You may as well ask now. It's alright, Lana. I'll ask you during the ball. Eh, okay. Very well. Hee <laughs> hee! Muffin making successful! Win. Later that, that morning. This morning's been extremely hectic. I decided not to open the store today so that Elliot and I could be could finish working on the muffins for tonight's ball. That's mixing several balls of batter at once using magic. A few dozen muffins were already baking before I knew before I knew it. Jane had arrived at the bakery. Uh, hello, Alana, hey, Elliot. Is anyone in? Ah, coming. I'll get the door for her, Alana. Thank you. Morning. Morning, Jane. I'll be right with you in just a moment. Take your time, Lana. I can see that you're working very hard to finish the muffins for the ball. Have you been to the bakery's kitchen before? No, I believe this is the first time seeing the back. Hehe, <laughs> what do you think? It's cozy. Hehe. <laughs> hey, Jane. Yes, Elliot? About what you said yesterday. What exactly is it about the princess that you like? I nearly channeled my spark element into the muffin batters. It's unprofessional of me, but I stopped mixing some of the bowls so that way I can eavesdrop on their conversation. That's um, a little embarrassing when you ask me so suddenly. Oh, sorry. But now that some time has passed and it's not so sudden anymore, right? <laughs> you really are persistent. Hee <laughs> hee. The princess is very kind and charming. Aren't they also kind and charming? Would you fight for my hand in marriage? Elliot, the princess is... Even though I am not a very interesting person, the princess will always listen to me when I ramble on about uh, during our conversations, regardless of whatever the topic is about. She is always encouraging me and is grateful for what I do around the castle. She may be kind, but she will also lecture me if I make a mistake. I like the responsible side of her. And at the end of the day, seeing her beautiful and serene smile makes me happy. Oh. Oh. Now how am I supposed to try and talk her out of this? Jane. It worked all night on the potion, but I haven't tested it yet. So I don't know if it'll work. Thank you, Lana. I really do appreciate you making this for me, even though it was so, so sudden. Is it meant to be bubbling like that? I honestly don't know. Well, at least it's a pretty mix of colors. Yeah, it's kind of like almost trans flag. It had a white in between. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, Elliot. Mm. You're not gonna drink it now? I'm a little nervous. I'll drink it before the ball. Will you be okay? So I was willing to take the risk, right? Don't worry about me. I am living by my own choices in life. If anything goes wrong, I only have myself to blame. It's not like your choices don't affect other people, Jane. Telling us not to worry? Elliot is more upset about this than I thought she would be. If something happens to you, then we'll lose our number one customer. Try to brighten the mood with a joke. Uh, Lana's right. Without you, our sales would go down. You too. I promise that even if I turn into a man, a bear, or even a pig, I will still come by your bakery every day to buy a muffin. You better. It's a promise, right? Yes. Alright. That night. 
with Mail Drain. We finished making all the muffins before sunset. There was still some time left before the ball, so Elliot went home to change into the appropriate attire. The appropriate attire? I went upstairs to take a quick bath before changing clothes as well. And then, it was time for the ball. Ooh! Interesting! Wow! The ball hasn't even started yet and there's already so many people. I'm so excited! That's great, Elliot. But be sure to stay close to me. We'll be staying in the main hall for most of the night, but the castle itself has many rooms and hallways, so it's easy to get lost. Okay. <laughs> hey, Lana. Yes, Elliot. Dressing up and going to the ball together. It's almost like we're on a date. Did you dress up because you look the same? Whatever. Uh, yes, Elliot. <laughs> Lana, the muffins are so delicious. Elliot, if you eat all the muffins, there won't be any left for the other guests. But they're so good. Oh, Elliot. Luca. Evening, beautiful. What? Oh, Luca is the, uh, dudo. I forgot about that. Luca! Long time no see. Oh, Elliot's turned into a frown. It's been too long. The muffins being served tonight are from your bakery, correct? They're delicious. Thank you. They are as sweet as you are. Ha <laughs> ha! I see you're still saying such phrases. It's the truth. Hmm? And who is this gorgeous girl? Hi, I'm- No! <laughs> what? You're going to give her the wrong impression of me. Just- No. I just want to introduce myself. Good evening, beautiful. Luca de Castro. But you could just call me Luca. I'm good friends with Alana since childhood, and you are... Only interested in women. <laughs> yes! Thank you, Elliot! Hehe. <laughs> 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 I didn't even have a chance, do I? Not really. Lana, I'm heartbroken. I can see that. Now really, who are you? Are you someone special to Lana? I sure am. I love seeing her face every morning and we spend every day together too. By nightfall, she's got me all tired out. I barely keep up with her. Lana, I'm so jealous. Uh, Elliot, don't say such things that will lead to uh, misunderstandings. Elliot is my apprentice. She works at the bakery with me. Oh, there isn't anything more? No. Not yet. Uh, excuse me? Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Elliot. It's a shame you're not interested in men. Maybe in another lifetime. I hope so. Ah, oh, it looks like the king is about to speak. The ballroom naturally falls silent at the presence of his majesty. Many of the guests remain where they are in the hall, but a few are confident enough to make their way to King Carl. Oh, hi, King Carl. Wow, that's- it's really the king. It's my first time seeing him this close. Thank you all for your attendance this evening. As you know, the reason for tonight's festivities is to celebrate my beautiful daughter's betrothment. Madalena? My dear daughter, Madalena, I'm so proud to see the woman that she has grown up to become. I am sure you are all eagerly excited to hear the name of the lucky man that will marry my daughter. But even I do not know. Whispers and murmurs spread throughout the ballroom. 
seems everyone is shocked to hear that the king himself does not know who will marry the princess. Wait. This mean the people in attendance tonight don't know that, about the king's fighter? My daughter has rejected every prince, nobleman, and suitor that has ever come seeking her hand. Imagine my surprise when she said she was ready to be wed. She came to me with a single condition. The person she is to marry must first defeat a warrior in combat. More chatter spreads throughout the crowd. Confused, what is going on? The princess has, was the one that decided to hold the competition for her hand, not the king. But why would she do that? I have not the faintest idea. <laughs> She's a funny one, isn't she? Luko has a coy smile on his face. Was he planning on competing? It's quite an amusing requirement, she has said, but I trust my daughter. I believe something entertaining will come out of this. And so, the first to best my chosen fighter in battle will be granted my daughter's hand. Who will take up this challenge and prove that they are worthy to marry my daughter? A few of the guests shuffle around. Some approach the front of the crowd, but none are brave enough to take on the challenge. Instead, whispers can be heard. Noble. Should have brought my son along. He is a skilled fighter. To think of such an opportunity to be tied to the royals will be missed. If only I had known beforehand, I would have worn my armor. You're just making excuses. You don't have the guts. They are not wrong. To suddenly spring this upon the guests without any warning or time to prepare it is no wonder no one is confident enough to fight. If that's the case, why even hold this ball to begin with? I will fight for the princess's hand. It's Jane. Did she take the potion? She doesn't look any different. I can't tell either. It was an untested concoction after all. So that most likely did not work. I'm just glad to see she's still alive and breathing. She's not a pig? Yes, that too. Lana? Yes, Elliot? Where did your friend Luca disappear to? Hmm, I'm not sure. This is a surprise. What is your reason for volunteering? I'm not volunteering, your highness. I am making a declaration. Any fighter you have chosen, or any man or woman here, wishes to fight for the princess, I will defeat them all. Who does that knight think they are? You have not provided us with a reason, Jane. Jane focuses on the princess. For love, that is my reason. That is your reason? Absurd. Will you allow it? The king takes a quick glance at the princess, who has remained featureless this entire time. Up there. I would not accept any other reason. Very well. We will allow it. This is outrageous to think. I think it's romantic. This is exciting. Waiting for Jane to win. Hmm. The king still has not announced who Jane's opponent will be. Whoever it is, Jane will, is going to kick their butt. De Castro, where are you? You've been here all along, your highness. Evening, Jane. You look more dashing than usual. Thank, thank you. Since you've been here from the beginning, then you must have heard Jane's proclamation. I did, yes. Are you ready to defend the princess's hand? I have already accepted the honor to be your fighter days ago, your honor. Your highness. If I had not come ready tonight, I would have dishonored my name. What? what? Luca is the king's fighter? Isn't he a, a witch? Will Jane be alright? This seems unfair. Well, then it would seem Jane will be the first challenger for tonight. 
Jane draws her sword and stands her ground, giving Luca a cold, hard stare. There is no reason or of, of doubt or op apprehension in her eyes. This is intense! Not only first, I'll also be the last. <laughs> I like this side of you. Jane is the first to charge forward. She closes the gap between her and Luca. Woof! She takes several swings at him with her sword, but he evades contact with her blade each time by propelling himself backwards using magic. <sighs> I wish more women would chase after me as enthusiastically as you are right now, Jin. Once he had gained a safe distance, Luca twists and flicks his wrist. Ah! Heavy wave of water is conjured slam Jane up against the wall. Several spectators are also hit by the water, sending them sliding into each other. Ugh, cough. You should give up, Jane. You can't beat me in a fight. Grrr. Jane raises this to her feet, combs her fingers through her dripping wet hair, once again charges at Luca. It is pointless. Every time Jane closes the gap between them, you, Luca uses magic to get away or push her back. Is that all you've got, Jane? Tch. She clicks her, her tongue before scanning her surroundings for something. But what? Her eyes lock onto a noble. Jane dashes over to a man. She grabs the muffin King, the noble was holding in his hand. Flings it at Luca. Ah! She's using her muffins as a weapon! He swiftly moves out of the way and the muffin hits the wall. You shouldn't waste food, Jane. Jane smirks. Why is she smirking? She runs over to a nearby table that is covered with our muffins. She wouldn't. Jane grabs the muffins and begins catapulting them one at a time at Luca. She would. Our muffins! We work so hard on them. What is happening? Food fight! Pumpkin seed, vanilla, apple cinnamon, blueberry. With each muff flying muffin that comes hurling towards him, Luca takes a step further and further away. He reflects some of the muffins away using magic, causing them to fly towards the crowd. Ah! Those two won't stop at Muffin. <laughs> Are you seriously trying to make a joke right now? Whoa! Lucas stumbles. He just slipped on one of the muffins on the floor. A blueberry lavender muffin, to be precise. Wait, hold on! Throwing the last muffin, Luca manages to deflect it using a wave of water, his spark element. Jean must have expected this. She dodges to the side, pulls something out from behind her goat. Another weapon? Shimmer of yellow splashes towards Luca. He sends another wave, but the yellow liquid instead mixes with his conjured water. It has a strong odor. It reeks of peppermint and valerian root. A sleeping potion. Luca pinches his nose to block the stench. Oh! Jane stands atop of a fallen Luca with the tip of her sword, pouring it towards his neck. Huff, huff. You've beaten me. I have. Well done, Jane. I have to admit, I'm impressed. You've defeated me and earned the right of the princess's hand via muffin sabotage. <laughs> Jean lowers her sword and looks towards the king. No. She's looking at the princess. Well, Madalena, what do you think? Jane! I told you, did I not? The person who wins this fight will, without a doubt, be my true love. My knight in shining armor. Princess. You still only call me by my title, even after we just fought for my hand? Shouldn't you be saying something else right now? Madalena. Yes? I love you with all my heart, my mind, my body, and my soul. 
I know, Jane. I love you too. Aww. Aww. He's cute. It's a happy ending. Yeah, I suppose it is. I'm glad Jane was able to find the strength in herself to fight for the one she loves. Aww. I'm glad she was happy with the happy ending she deserves. Hmm. Is everything alright, Ellie? I was just thinking. Please, do share. Well, have you ever felt like something wasn't quite right? Wh what do you mean? Like you thought the world revolved around you and that you were the main character in a story? <laughs> but... You're actually just the supporting character of someone else's love story? <laughs> and you really thought you had a chance to be with someone? You tried to make the right moves and say the right things in order to impress them. But the choices you make have little to no effect on how much they like you. Because it was never your story to begin with. It was hers? And she was the power to decide how her love story would end all along? Uh... Huh. <laughs> Good job, guys. Oh, that's fun and delightful. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you for the fourth wall breaks and the epic scene. That was fun. <laughs> and I'm glad that we went back and were able to defeat the little uh, minigame. That had. That was fun. <laughs> really neat. So it's really Jane Jane's story, and not Elliot or Lana's story, even though it was told through Lana. Hmm. Uh oh. Lana. Yes, Elliot. Remember this morning when you said you could give me a reward for successfully making muffins? I remember. Do you wish to ask for the reward now? If it's okay. I want to have a chance. I want to have a dance with you. Uh, dance? Yes, please. Of course, Elliot. I would love to. Yay! Really? Do you know how to dance? Not at all. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be another thing you could teach me. <laughs> oh, Elliot. What am I gonna do with you? Hee <laughs> hee. The end. Oh, That was cute! <laughs> so, let's go back and go through some of these. Let's see. So last time we flirted and that was bad. So we're gonna just suggest, if you're having trouble sleeping, it can mix up a potion for you and take right before bed. Sleeping potion? I'm not sure. Don't worry, it'll knock you unconscious- it won't knock you unconscious straight away. Okay. So, that's not something that's a little different. Potion I have in my mind will just make you relax. Are there any side effects? Nope. Okay. think the potions we once used on our enemies to induce nausea now being served to the nobles as liquor. Yes, but they were far less potent now than they what they used to be. Whoa, I didn't know that. I hope you're paying attention, Elliot. Consider that today's lesson. Oh, I need a quill. Just wait. She's so studious. I'm surprised you decided to take on an apprentice. I thought after the war you both were strained from training witchlings. This is different from back then. I'm teaching her to use magic to create, not to destroy. Has she baked anything using her magic yet? Not yet. <laughs> She's still learning how to bake without magic. She can never seem to find the right ingredients when she needs them. Not a simple task, I see. Very true, but I do like her enthusiasm. Okay, I'm ready. 
Please repeat everything that you said before. <laughs> I like it too. It's refreshing. What? What's refreshing? Oh, Elliot, what am I going to do with you? Did I miss something? <laughs> Shall I make the potion and deliver it to the castle tonight, Jane? If you would. Thanks. Alright, skip. Boop. Okay. I think it's frozen. Oh. I think I'm trying to find things. Okay. Don't remember what I'm supposed to be looking for. Larian root. Oh, there's the Larian root. Okay. Skip. Woo! Okay. Uh, I think we said what do we suppose it's cause. It's probably nothing. Was it your first time going to the castle? No. I did go near it when I was younger, but I've never been up to the gate until last night. Why? There's always something happening at the castle. It's not uncommon for messengers to be coming and going. Hmm, is that so? It's probably better. You don't think about it too much. Did you go to the off to the castle often? No, not anymore. Hmm. She looks at me inquisitively. Elliot? Why do you start making such simple some simple vanilla muffins for today's sales? Oh, I could do that. Of course you can. I'll be here to guide you. And I think I can skip. Don't pressure her, Elliot. Royals live in a very private life behind the castle gates. Aww. Would you like your usual today, Jane? I actually came to the play to place a rather large order, you see. The king plans to hold a ball in a couple days. All the nobles in Perini will be attending as well as some ambassadors from the neighboring nations. Wow, a ball! What's the occasion? The princess's betrothment. Betrothment? She's getting married! Who's she gonna marry? I I'm not sure yet. I'm not high enough in the chain of command to be informed. But the princess has requested to specifically have your muffin served at the ball. She did? Yes. Wow! Why'd she regress my muffin specifically? I think we've seen that one. Skip! Whoop! She was definitely troubled by the princess's betrothment. I'm not surprised. Jane has been in love with the princess since she became a royal knight. Oh, so in this one, you already know. Her eyes would light up and sparkle when they spoke to each other. I had only seen them speak together once, but it was obvious since then that... Jane had fallen. I hope she doesn't do anything crazy leading up to the ball. Ooh, next day. Alright, skipping. Doop. Click, clock, click, clock, click, clock, click a day, click a dog, click, boop, beep, but up, boop, beep. Bop. Boop. Boop. Ah. Boop. 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 You want me to turn you into a man? What does being a woman have to do with anything? There is no point in winning her hand if you have to live out the rest of your life pretending to be someone that you're not. She would not be married to you, Jane. She would be married to her fraud. If you truly care about her, would you be capable of lying to her for the rest of your life? <sighs> then tell me, what else am I supposed to do? Fight for her! 
fight for the princess's hand and stand by her side, just as you are. There is no need for you to change. No. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't understand, Lana. You are of the common race. You're even a respected witch. You wouldn't understand how it feels to be looked down upon. You don't understand what I had to go through just to get to where I am. Don't give me that horse crap. Uh, Lana? Of course, I don't know what you went through. No one but you would ever truly understand your pain and suffering. But that doesn't mean the rest of us have had it easy. What do you think happened to me and the other witches after the war had ended? A hero? A killer? A weapon? I don't ask to be any of those things. Jeez, this is going into like war veteran territory. Lana, ple please calm down. Don't come to me for help, Jane. If you want to fight for the princess, then do it on your own strength, not someone else's. Hmm. So be it. Jane, wait. Let her go, Elliot. But you two can't end on bad terms. Don't worry about us. We will be back to normal after a good night's sleep. Lana, are you okay? Yes. Let's get back to work, Elliot. We still have an order to prepare for tomorrow night. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's a lot more heated. Jeez. Skipping. After what happened this morning, I just want to dr drown myself in my work. It's going to be a long day tomorrow. I should head to bed early tonight. Skip! Yes! Okay, counting on you! Thanks. Flower. Lavender. Blueberries. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Click, clock, click, clock, clock, click, click on it. Boop, a deep, a doop, doop, a deep, beep, boop, doop, doop. Doom, doom. Yeah! And into the oven it goes! Alright, skip it. M morning. Morning, Jane. The tension is thick enough to cut with a butter knife. Lana, about yesterday. I'm sorry. I don't want to leave things the way that they currently are between us. I lashed out at you and said some unnecessary things yesterday. I just... Why was I so angry? I just... I don't think that you need to change who you are for the princess. If she doesn't acknowledge you for your real self, then I don't see the point in marrying her. But I also know that you're the type of person that would do anything for the people that you care about, even if it's at your own expense. Lana, I know you didn't say those things yesterday to be rude. I know you care. Thank you. And I'm also so sorry for suddenly asking you to do something so selfish. Just tell me though, what's so special about the princess that she is worth becoming an entirely different person than fighting for? You know, even though I'm a royal knight, I'm not actually supposed to have direct contact with the princess. I'm not a captain or any special rank like that. The only reason I get to see her every day is because she asks me to buy her a blueberry lavender muffin. Why do you think she asked you to buy it specifically? Even I don't know. During the muffin uh, time I get to spend with her, when I get give her the muffins, she will always ask me about my day. Listen to me ever so intently. She's so kind. She will encourage me when I'm feeling down or struggling with something, but will also lecture me when I make mistakes. 
short moments I could spend with her filled me with an indescribable feeling. Like special type of warmth. It's called love! Elliot. Perhaps. But at the end of the day, seeing her beautiful and serene, sincere smile makes me happy. Oh. When the princess marries someone, there's a chance that I will no longer be needed. If her fiancé were from a neighboring nation, then she would likely leave Perenia. I... I guess I just wanted to stay by her side as long as I could. Then fight for her. Jane, if you really want to stay by her side, just fight for her. I can't guarantee that you'll be accepted as you are now, but neither can I say that you certain with certainty that you won't. Isn't it risky? Better off taking than regretting later? Uh, I'm scared. Of course you are. Who hasn't been afraid or nervous when doing something for love? <sighs> Your words don't fill me with confidence. Here, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot shuts up Jane and forces a muffin into her mouth. Urgh. If words don't fill you with confidence, then let our muffins fill you with happiness. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. I have never heard anything so eloquent before, but I should put that on a signboard somewhere. <laughs> Thank you, Elliot. That night. Alright, here we go. Skip. Boop, boop. I'm glad she found the courage to come tonight, even without a potion to turn her into a man. Yes, me too. Lana? Yes, Elliot? Where'd your friend Luca disappear to? Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay. This is a surprise. Okay, I'm gonna skip the whole muffin battle. And no matter what choices you make or things you say to them actually have very little impact on what happens. Because it will never it's never your story to begin with. It was hers. Power to decide her own love story would end all along. Huh. <laughs> okay, well that was fun. Okay, so we have one more, and that's load this guy. And so this is after I had done the bad flirt. We're going to confess your own feelings. No. W w why not? Lana? I can't help you go through with this. But Lana, you're the only one I can turn to for help. I can't. Jane, I love you. Oh, <gasps> Anna. We have known each other since the war, and I have seen you for who you really are. Brave, loyal, and honest woman. A skilled swordsman. With strength and strategic capabilities. I know you believe I'm joking whenever I float with you, but I have always been genuine about my feelings. I don't care about your race or your scars. I love you. Why, why can't you choose me instead? Alana. I am well aware that your feelings towards me are genuine. I have never doubted them, in fact. But I am not as brave as you think. I avoided situations where we could have been alone together because I was afraid that you would confess. I am a counter that I could never bring myself to honestly respond to your feelings. Oh. I am sorry, Lana. My heart belongs to the princess. I always had the feeling that would be your answer. <sighs> really, I'm sorry, Lana. Please, don't apologize anymore. You shouldn't have apologized just because my, our feelings don't align. Then what should I say instead? <sighs> There's nothing you can say right now. But Jane, I have never made such a potion before. I cannot guarantee it will work. We don't know what will happen. Your body might change, but also change your state of mind. Don't even know if it would be permanent effect or just temporary. I think we've seen this, but it's not letting me skip, so there's more here. I'm willing to take that risk. Sigh. I'll make it the potion. 
Thank you, Lana. I will return tomorrow morning as usual. Can the potion be ready by then? It should be. Thank you, Lana. Thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to me. Lana, are you okay? <sighs> yes. Let's get back to work, Elliot. We still have an order to prepare for tomorrow night. Oh. Skip. Alright, here we go. Gunning on you. Eggs. Flower. Lavender. Blueberry. Okay. Click, clack, click, clack, click, 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 like, to me, it feels a little wrong going that way. I mean, it should be the other way, but whatever. And skip. Okay, everything we've seen. Anything new? Nope. That was it. Okay. <laughs> well, that was everything for Baked Magic. I hope you enjoyed it. It was cute, it was fun, and it was quick. Um, I was not expecting it to be... That adorably short <laughs> but it was cool I hope you enjoyed uh, gay magic baking witches which is cool with a surprisingly deep and built world for something so quick like the whole like slime war and the passionate speech about not wanting to be a weapon and to make things that aren't destruction oh snap all right. Well, with that, subscribe so that way you can come back and hang out later. Uh, I love you all, and I hope that you're staying safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!